Hello all, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will show you how to use the tab layout and view pager 2 in Android Kotlin. So let's do the same thing practically. First of all, you can just click on create new project. Then you can choose empty activity and then you can click on next. Here you can provide the name of your application. I'm writing the name of my application is that is tab layout and view pager 2 demo. Here you can choose the language. I'm choosing the language that is Kotlin and then you can click on finish. Once the Gradle build is done, you can simply hide this project explorer. Then you can click on activity main.xml and here you can just click on show system user interface. Here I don't want this text view so you can simply remove this text view. Now here you can search for tab layout. So here you will get the tab layout and here you can simply move drag and drop tab layout over here in the top left corner and then you can click on infer constraint. So this is the tab layout having the three tab. One is Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. But I don't want this tab that is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday in a XML. I want to bind it in a programmatically. So you can simply remove this tab up to Wednesday and you can simply remove this. So here all the tab are removed. Now here you can search for view pager. And here you can simply move drag and drop view pager over here. And then you can click on in for constraint. Now this view pager having the ID that is view pager 2 and tab layout having the ID that is tab layout. Now I want to take the three different fragment. One is for the message, another is for the status and another one is for the call. And all this fragment I want to just replace over here in a view pager. So here you can just click on project explorer then you can click on app and here you can just right click new fragment and here you can retrieve the fragment blank. Here you can give the name of your fragment. I'm writing the name of my fragment is message fragment and here you can click on finish. I want another fragment so I'm just right click on this app new fragment and here you can choose a fragment blank and here you can give the name of your fragment is that is status fragment here you can click on finish now i want another fragment so i'm just right click on app new fragment and here you can choose the fragment blank and here you can give the name of your fragment that is call fragment so there are basically three fragments I have taken and I want to show all this three fragment content in a activity main in a view pager whenever the user selecting particular tab. So first of all you can just uh, close this Kotlin file. I just want to make the changes in a XML file. So I'm just uh, simply closing all this Kotlin file. You can hide this project explorer. Then you can move to your fragment message here you can click on split and here in this text view you can simply write that text size that is 30 sp then you can set the text color that is has 000 then you can set the text style that is bold and here instead of this is a hello fragment hello blank fragment you can simply change this string and the string is that is messages. So this is the text view that is in a fragment message. Same I want to make the changes in a second fragment and that is a fragment status. So here in a fragment status I just want to change the property and that is text color size text. And instead of this messages, we can simply write here that is status. I want to apply the same in a fragment call. So you can select this split and here you can write that is this text is that is calls. Now whenever user change the pager, I want to just 
change the display content of this fragment. So what we can do simply we can move to main activity dot Kotlin file. Here I want to first write the title in a tab. So I am declaring here variable tab title that is the variable is equal to array of and here we can write the tab title the first tab is that is message second tab is that is a status the third tab is that is call now i want to find the id of the pager and tab layout so here we can write variable pager is equal to find view by id we can cast it to view pager 2 and we can write here r dot id dot view pager 2 same we can declare the tab layout so i am writing here tl is equal to find view by id and here we can cast it to tab layout and here we can write r dot id dot tab layout now i want to set the text of the tab layout so here we can write tab layout mediator and here we can pass the value in a constructor and that is a tab layout that is tl and pager and here we can call it anonymously and here we can pass the tab and position so if the position is that is the first tab then i want to set the text that is message so here we can write that tab dot text is equal to tab title of position so what happened if the first tab is there then it will display message if the second tab is there then it will display status and if the third tab is there then it will display call and here we can call the function that is dot attach after this done now we need the adapter class to bind the data so here you can just click on project explorer here you can select the package and you can just right click new and you can select the kotlin class here you can select the kotlin class and here you can give the name of your adapter class i am giving the name of my adapter is my adapter so here my adapter class is created now i want to create the class which extends from that is fragment state adapter and here in a fragment state adapter there are two argument one is the fragment manager and another one is the life cycle so that we will get from the user whenever the my adapter class is called so here we can declare the first variable that is fragment manager and second variable that is life cycle and you can pass both variable in a superclass constructor that is in a fragment state adapter you can pass fragment manager and life cycle now here we need to overwrite the two functions one is the on create fragment and another one is get item count so here you can just press alter enter and you can implement the member get item count and create fragment now here in a get item count i am simply writing return 3 why because i want to display three tab one is for the message second for the status and third for the call now here in a create fragment we can just pass the position in a when close here we can write when position if the position is zero it means that if a first tab is selected then we can simply write return message fragment if it is a first that is you can say second tab is selected then return that is status fragment if the second index it means that if third tab is selected then return call fragment and in the case of else we can simply write here return message fragment now once this adapter class is created we need to bind this adapter in a main activity so here in a main activity we can simply write pager dot adapter is equal to we can call the my adapter class and we can pass 
that is support fragment manager and life cycle function that is get life cycle so once it is done you can simply run this particular application and you will get the changes into the emulator see here application is launched now now whenever you click on status you will get status whenever you click on call you will get call see here message status and call even you can change it from over here also this is what the view pager is so this is the way you can use the tab layout and view pager in android kotlin so that's it from my side if you like this video then please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you very much have a nice day